Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you all. I know, oh that sounded quite funny. A haul for you all. I know you all really liked my last haul. I got lots of lovely feedback from you on all the different pieces and some of it I kept, some of it I didn't. And I just went shopping this last couple of days because I have a few things coming up. So I wanted to share with you guys my purchases. I have things from Topshop, H&M, and Forever 21, and Toby.com. So everything is super affordable in this video, and I'll be sure to link everything I mentioned down below. As always, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It would honestly make my day. And like this video if you like hauls. But I'm not going to talk too much at the beginning of this. None of this I've tried on yet because I had to do a bit of a mad dash, and I've got some things coming up next week that I just needed stuff for. So I'm hoping most of these things will work. If not, we'll be returning them but I always like to get your feedback so don't forget to leave me a comment on what you think of everything down below but anyway let's not ramble too much everything is super affordable as I mentioned and yeah we're gonna start off with toby.com now I mentioned toby.com before I get lots of cute pieces from them and yeah they always have really amazing stuff in and they always have discounts which is amazing I'll be sure to link them down below as with everything else I mentioned okay so first up this shirt which I'm about to wear in a video that I'm gonna film, um, which probably will have gone up actually before you see this. So I'll be sure to link that somewhere up here. It's my favorite favorites. So this one I will have tried on <laughs> and filmed in by the time you've seen this video. So this is the shirt. It is hard to show here, but it's from a company called Wild Honey. And I think they're based in LA and it's really cute. It has like fluty sleeves and it's a bit sheer ties at the waist and it's got like a ruffle collar. This is gonna look so cute on. Yellow can find kind of be a bit of a funny color on me sometimes, but I feel like this is gonna work. So let's see what it looks like. So I have my Lorenzo here if he <laughs> wants to come and hang out apparently. This yellow shirt I think is so freaking cute. I actually really like the color on. I just popped it on with some high-waisted um, kind of flared, skip flared jeans, which I wear all the time. And I decided to pop it on with a black bralette underneath. Now, I could go for something nude, but it's so sheer, I feel like I'm gonna see it no matter what, unless I went for like a yellow bra. Oh, bless you. Um, I really like the sleeves. I like the fact that it has like a popper and a tie. So like the tie isn't the only thing that's kind of holding it in place and you get a little bit more coverage. Um, yeah, I think it's so, so cute. And I would definitely wear this. What do you guys think of the color though on me? That's the only thing I'm semi on the fence, but I feel like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wear yellow. Then on to a bodysuit that I picked up. I thought this was so cute. I really liked the color of this. Um, I don't know why, but I thought this would look really nice on just with a pair of like high-waisted jeans or whatever. It's a bodysuit, so you've got like a thong bodysuit in the back. The only thing I'm a bit worried about I didn't think about is, I don't know what bra or lack of bra or something I'm gonna wear under this. It's completely see-through. I feel like I might have to try some sort of bra on and it's so low, it comes down to like nearly my belly button. So I don't know what I'm gonna do under this. Maybe a bralette that's kind of long. Hmm, let's try this on and let's see what it looks like. So this is the kind of bodysuit. I have kept that same black bralette underneath it. <laughs> um, I kept the same black, black bralette underneath it as I had on with the yellow top. And I quite like it, I think. Um, I feel like I could maybe wear a white bralette underneath it and it might work, but you definitely have to wear something that's gonna be a bit more covering underneath because it's completely see-through. And honestly, like, I don't know what else I'd put under here. Like I said, maybe a white bra, but I feel like you wanna have this bit of it covered. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I do like it. It's really cute. One thing I will say is the arms are very, very small. They're like really quite tight, which is unusual because that's not something I typically find. I don't exactly have like really muscular thick arms. So that's kind of an interesting one to bear in mind. And I got a size small, I did get an extra small in this. So yeah. What do you guys think? I am kind of into it. I like it with a jean. I just kept these same jeans on. And yeah, I think I like it. What do you guys think? Okay, another bodysuit that I picked up is this one. It is kind of buttoned down and it's just like a regular tank, but it has a really nice low scoop in the back. And again, it's like a thong 
style. I'm not sure how into the thong style I am, but the only thing I will say is I feel like it's gonna be better under jeans. I think most of my bodies are like, kind of a full pump at the back, I guess. But having the thong style just means you can kind of layer it a bit better without having like bunched up. And this is Toby's own brand and it has these cute little poppers that you can like pop, maybe have one open. Um, yeah, I thought this was just a really good basic. Okay, so I really like this bodysuit. Very simple, very plain. I actually quite like the poppers because I feel like I would maybe undo like one or two. And it's got a really nice low scoop, but it's really dense in colour. I probably could have gone for an extra small, it's a little bit big to be perfectly honest, but the small fits just fine. And yeah, I will definitely wear this. I'll keep this 100%. It's like soft and practical. That's what I love about Toby. The basics are just amazing. They have so many like nice feeling things. And I can't remember how much this was, but again, I'll link it down below, but it comes in a few colours, I think. And yeah, just super practical, super easy. You can throw it on with anything and it looks cute. And then the final thing from Toby that I am obsessed with is this. This is a shorts suit. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's again from this brand, Honey Punch. And it's adorable. So these are the shorts, they're pinstripe. And I also picked up the jacket to match. Oh my days, I'm so pumped to style this. This is like something I would never really wear and I just think it's gonna look so friggin' cool and edgy. I really hope this fits well because oh, I'm so excited to wear that. Maybe it's just like a white t-shirt and sneakers. I feel like this is gonna be so freaking cute. Let's try it on and see. Okay, so this suit I absolutely freaking love. I love the like length of the shorts and where the um, jacket ends, for one. I like the jacket of being a little bit oversized and not quite so fitted, but the shorts fit me perfectionly. Perfectionally? They fit me like perfection. And I think a little belt through the waist would look really cheap with a little Gucci belt. Oh, dream. And um, yeah, I really, really like the jacket. I like the fit. I popped on just a plain white tee just to have something underneath. But I also think this would look super sexy with just like a bra and the jacket done up, and that's it, like nothing underneath. I think that would look so cool as well. Yeah, I really, really like this. I could just imagine myself in like a pair of sneakers and this, and I'm just like ready to go. I just think this is so cool. I'm not sure about the sleeve situation though. I'm not sure if you're supposed to like turn these up, or maybe I would just like push them up and have them look like that, have it a bit like lived in looking. Yeah, I don't know. I, however, am completely in love with the suit and it is definitely staying. Hopefully you guys think the same. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to Forever 21. I, my receipts, um, picked up just a few bits from Forever 21 um, and I saw loads of stuff in there, but it was one of those days where I was a bit overwhelmed by how much cute stuff there was. So I ended up with just three tops. And a little side note about this haul, I've realized, because it's been colder in LA, I have no, like, really practical long sleeve tops. I'm at home, working from home a lot of the time. I just want to be warm and feel like cozy, but still look dressed and stylish. And I just don't have long sleeve tops. Everything's freaking cropped and I don't know, like nothing is practical. So this isn't, but you'll see a few things I picked up are along those lines. So this t-shirt I thought was so cute. It just is Notting Hill, London. And as you all know, from London, I wasn't, um, I'm not from Notting Hill specifically, but I'm from West London, so I thought this was really perfect. And yeah, I really liked it. I just thought it was really cute. It's got some distressing on it. I don't know if you can see there's some little holes and things. And um, I like Forever 21 t-shirts. They're always good to like throw on with things. And you know me, jeans and a t-shirt goes a very long way. Okay, so I love this little Notting Hill t-shirt. I just think it's a really nice shape really nice fit it feels comfortable i've gone ahead and tucked it in but like the, the kind of thinness of the t-shirt i really really like and i like the way the like the logo sits i just think it's cute i'll definitely rock this one and i like the fact that i could like you know tie in a little knot and i think it would look cute too to the side i think this would look great with black skinny jeans as well as like my little blue ones yeah, I'm super into this. I think it's just like a great everyday tee. I like the finish on the sleeves. Looks a little bit oversized, but also not. Just, yeah, it's really cute. I like it a lot. And then I also picked up this knitted kind of like, oh, the tag fell off. 
this knitted um, striped long sleeve top. As I mentioned, looking for warmer tops that kind of are just simple, that I can layer up with things. And it's probably gonna get boiling hot now next week in LA, but um, just as I have something warm to wear. But I just thought this was really practical. It's a nice shape. And yeah, I liked it. It's kind of like a knitted fabric. It's more like a jumper, but really, really thin jumper. So I just thought this would be really, really practical to have. Okay, so if you can hear a little puppy panting, he's right by the camera. So his panting is probably quite loud. Um, but I am not, so this stripy top, I'm not 100% sold on. There's something about it, one that's quite itchy. But also, I don't love the general shape of it. Like, that's where my bra straps are supposed to sit. And maybe you're supposed to see them. I mean, that doesn't look that bad, I guess. But I just am not sold on how flattering this is. I also feel like it's probably strobing really badly on the camera right now. Um, sorry for your eyes if it is doing that. But yeah, I'm just not sold on it. I don't think it's that cute. It feels a bit itchy. The, where it ends is a little bit funny as well. It's like cropped, but not. I just don't know. I'm not sold on this one. This is probably gonna be a no from me. And then my final purchase from Forever 21, like I can say I didn't get very much, was this shirt. And I thought this was so adorable. It's a crop top and it has these kind of little string sleeves, knitted long sleeve. I just loved the color. I feel like this could either make me look really washed out or <laughs> really nice, but I just really liked it. I think it came in a black, a white, this, came in other colours definitely, um, but I decided to go for this peach because I just thought it was a really unusual colour and again, some high-waisted denim jeans and yeah, I just think this is going to look so cute. So let's see what it looks like on. Okay, so I really like this peach knit. I think this is something that I'll completely live in. This is such a great top for like exactly the climate I live in, where it's kind of warm, like ish like knitted but it's not like boiling hot and it's nice and loose this equally would be a great summer piece for a lot of you who are kind of going on holidays and i just like the thin knit it would be a great kind of in the evening piece in the summer and then daytime for spring right now and i love this color like peachy nude oh my god it's a dream i'm obsessed with it yes 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 then moving on to h and um this looks like i got loads but i actually didn't Oh my gosh, the first thing in here I'm obsessed with and it was a, a bargain of a lifetime. Look at this colour, you guys, and it's so soft. This jumper is so cute! Oh my gosh, how adorable is this? It's the softest thing ever. I don't know what this knit is, but it's like, reminds me of like the 90s and all the jumpers I used to have in the 90s. And it's got really cute, like a little bit puff sleeves. It's like kind of faux high necked and the colour is just like boom pops looks amazing I'm obsessed with it and guess how much this was you guys it was seven dollars in the sale I mean can you get any better it used to be twenty five dollars and it was reduced down to seven and I just had to have it I like I'm definitely no I'm gonna love this I really hope the shape is nice it's one of those things that the shape could be like man maybe look like a box but um I think the knit, I think the shape of the knit will be flattering just because it has this kind of like line down the middle and then it has these like triangular lines. So it kind of, I think will be flattering. Oh, so with this, what I wanted to try on with this, to show you guys, was this. This skirt I picked up, I love like kind of this utility look, these big pockets. Um, I just thought this was adorable. This is um, from, I th oh no, they're both one. This is from a collection, Anne Glover for H&M, which I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen anything else from H&M that, under that like, name, but um, I just thought this was adorable. And this is such a like LA practical piece for me to have. Like I can wear this with my own boots, with trainers, with um, little ankle boots. I just think this would be such a good staple for me to have in my wardrobe. And this was $34.99, which I think is a pretty good bargain for a little skirt. And then I thought, oh my gosh, what a great combination. So I'm probably gonna try these on together and let's see how they look. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this jumper. Yes, it is so soft. Like I can't explain how soft this is. 
and I love the shape and the colour and the feel of it. It feels like cosy and warm and just, oh, I love it. And I also love it with this skirt. How freaking cute is this? This is like the perfect fitting utility skirt. I feel like this would look so cool with like just a black tee and leather jacket and my like boots or something like that. Then also obsessed with it over this kind of like orange knit. I just love this outfit. I like can't get enough of it. I feel like this is a little cute with trainers, with boots. I'll probably wear ankle boots. And yeah, the only thing is you probably couldn't get much of a jacket over this jumper because it's like super thick and snuggly but just oh I love it so much I don't know I think I'm definitely gonna have to keep this seven dollars and it's just like the cutest thing I ever love but um also the skirt what do you guys think I think this is a definite winner for me I love the little pockets I love the fit it like nips me in perfectly at the way so I ended up getting the size um two US which is a six UK um but it's like a comfortable fit it's like a little bit kind of tight, loose, but like it's like perfect, fits lovely. And yeah, I just, oh my God, I can't wait to wear this outfit. In fact, I won't wear it today because I love it so much. And then my final H&M purchase was a dress and I love longer dresses at the moment or kind of like midi dresses for no real reason other than I've been really liking them. And I saw this one and I thought it's so cute. It's kind of like a tea dress. I've been really into color. I mean, obviously I'm wearing black right now, but I've been wanting to wear more color. I think it's like, cause the weather's a bit crap. I've been wanting to like, you know, the orange and the yellow and like trying to find some color in my wardrobe. And this little dress, I just thought was adorable. And I nips in at the waist and then flares out and it's like, might even be full length on me. It's supposed to be midi and um, it's really, really cute. I like all the flowers on it and I just think this would be a really good like practical throw on dress for me. This is $39.99 to $40. Um, and yeah, it just feels soft and nice and let's see how it fits. Okay, so this dress I think might be a little bit mumsy on me. Um, I like the idea of it, but I'm not sure if it just makes me look a little bit frumpy. As you can see, it is mid length for me, it's not full length. Um, but I like the little buttons down the front. I do like how low it is. Um, that might actually help the mumsiness go away. You're right, Bubba. He's so hot. <laughs> he went running around outside like crazy. And then he's coming. You what? You what? Yes. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure whether it's like a little bit too mumsy for me or it works. I like the colour, I like the print. I don't know if it's like the big ties. It kind of has like a bit of a re realization par reformation kind of feel about it. Um, what do you guys think? This one I'm super on the fence about. I need your help. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this one. Maybe a belt would help. I don't know. <laughs> and then my final stop was to Nordstrom Topshop specifically. I. Um, so the nearest top shop from me to me is uh, quite a bit away, it's like 45 minutes away. So I um, always go to Nordstrom top shop because they always have a nice little created section. Um, and this first thing I just really hope looks nice on me because it's the softest thing ever. Like I said, I was like looking for more practical things to like wear at home because I'm working from home a lot at the moment and I um, just want to feel comfortable and warm but also I don't like to, I'm not, I'm not someone who wants to stay in my sweats all day. I need to like put nice clothes on. I think it's really important to do. Um, so I saw this dress and what I realized is this actually comes in petite online, which if this shape, if this sizing doesn't fit, I might go and get the petite one because I think it will probably be a better fit on me. Anyway, I thought it was so cute. Um, it's like a, the soft, the softest knit it's like feels like like a cuddly blanket or something and this was $50 which I don't think is that bad it's like a really nice knitted dress and it has this tie waist and what I like about something like this is I can really like nip it in at the waist if I want to gives a really nice like shape rather than it just being like a big baggy jumper and again throw this on with some sneakers maybe my leather jacket if I'm going out but to be honest this is just such a great piece to have me to wear kind of like around the house and stuff. So this top top dress feels amazing on. I knew it was going to. The fabric's so lovely and luxurious. Almost has like cashmere. It's so nice. Um, but 
I think I'm going to go ahead and try on the petite of this dress because I honestly just think it will do the world a difference to have that tiny bit more of a petite fit. I, it's a tiny bit long and it feels a bit like off my waist in certain places. Like I feel like the waist is supposed to be like down here, which mine is up here. So I kind of just, I feel like if I got this in the petite, it would just be amazing. And it's so comfy and feels amazing on. I just like want to have this in my life. So um, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna pick this one up in petite. If you're taller than me, which is 5'2", this will probably look amazing on you. Um, and yeah, this is such like a good thing to have in your closet for those days when you just want to feel comfortable. But you still want to look a little bit put together. And then my final, final purchase was this. This top is freaking adorable, but I'm kind of worried about how delicate it is. So it's a gold knitted top uh, from Topshop as well. And I just, I can't. This is like the most 90s thing ever. This with some jeans and a great belt is going to look adorable and this shirt was the $68 which is kind of a pricey top but it's really beautiful. It feels amazing and very very delicate so let's try it on and see how we feel but I'm really worried about how delicate these bits down here are. Okay, this final top is adorable. I knew I was gonna like this one. I just love that kind of like 90s cut right now. It's obviously everywhere. Um, and yeah, I just think I'll get a ton of wear out of this. It feels like I could totally dress this up, but wear it in the day as well with kind of like my leather jacket thrown over and it just looks like a cute little tank top, but I could also wear it with some heels and um, jeans. And I just think, yes, it's just the cutest top I, <laughs> Well, definitely getting a ton of wear out of this. I hope you guys like it, I think you will. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, but I think this is an absolute winner. I'm just terrified of how delicate these straps are. Like, honestly, this is a piece of thread on the shoulder um, that could stop at any moment. So that feels a little bit scary, but it does, the top does come with some like extra thread, so you could always like restitch it, but I don't know. I love it, I think it's so cute. And I love the color of the gold, it's like a really warm, kind of nice on the skin tone brother and yeah I love it and that is it thank you guys so much for watching as always let me know in the comments like what things you liked what you didn't like what you should keep what I should return what you thought I was mad for buying I always want to know what you guys think and also let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see here on my channel I am constantly trying to make new content for you guys so I always want to know what you want to see and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next one bye yes. oh you can come in